All right, so I'm back to work today on the 92 Jeep Wrangler disassembly. I'm going to go ahead and finish pulling out this uh, 4 liter 6 cylinder. I've already got the nuts off the bolts for the motor mount, so all I have to do is just slide it through once I get the weight off of it. I've got all but two bolts out of the transmission. I just gotta, I got them loose, but I just gotta pull them out once I lift the weight off the motor, or uh, lift the weight of the motor off the frame. And haven't really had a whole lot of bolts uh, sticking, but the PB blaster has been working on the few that have. As you see, I got this one ready. And, uh, Let's go ahead and get this thing out of here. That way we can get this transmission out and put it in the shed and figure out what we're going to do with that transfer case. Maybe sell it. Maybe keep it as another spare. I've got several. I uh, don't need the rear drive shaft anymore. Definitely don't need the Dana 35. So, back to work. All right, well, we got the engine up in the air a little bit. I just now pulled it forward to uh, get it clear of that input shaft. Strap seems to be balancing it just as good as the uh, it did on the 98 Cherokee motor. We'll find out once it's up a little higher and completely out of here, but should work fine. All right, there we have it. The 4.0 is clear of the frame. Had no problems lifting it clear of the transmission. I just lifted it up just about two inches where it would clear the motor mounts and then just pulled it forward well, about what, three and a half inches and that cleared the bell housing and as always I put a ratchet strap underneath the bell housing. I just run it from this body mount over to that one and that always keeps the transmission from dropping down too far. That's what I did in the past when I swapped the uh, engine on my other Jeep. But there we have it. Everything's uh, finally coming together. Or should I say coming apart? <laughs> Alright. Now let's see if we can find a home for this engine. Well, there's the engine. Just figure I'd do a quick walk around on it. I am going to take the flywheel, clutch, and this aluminum plate off and hang on to them for myself, as well as the YJ uh, motor mount brackets since uh, somebody can just swap on theirs, whether it's going in a Cherokee or Grand Cherokee or another Wrangler. No big deal. I just like having spare parts for myself. But I'm going to sell this engine for $225 without all this stuff. So, I mean, for a running engine, they can just swap over all their accessories. I don't think they're going to find anything better at the junkyard for that price. Especially around here and all the new core charges and everything. Well, there it is. I figure I'll walk around and take a look at this transmission. It's that uh, AX15 5 speed. Of course, with the MP231 transfer case with the very dreaded slip yoke in the front. And there's the dreaded Dana 35. Worked good on the street though. And I don't know how well that's going to film, but there's the internal sleeve cylinder 
that everybody seems to hate. I myself really have not had any issues with it. When the one went out on the 91 a few years back, I couldn't uh, push the clutch in, you know, wouldn't do any good, so I ended up just starting it up in uh, second gear and just floated through the gears, um, just like I would in my Freightliner, and made it home with no problem, and swapped it out on the weekend, and back to work on Monday again, so I don't really see what the issue is with them. Uh, yeah, the external one is easier to change, but how often does it actually go out? I just set up a couple boards on the engine hoist. I'm, I'm not going to bother putting this engine on one of my stands. I mean, I've, I've got it for sale, and I don't have another engine to pull right now, so I'm just going to set it down on the hoist and keep it covered up. There's no, uh, no need to go through all that extra work right now. All right, there's the engine. I've uh, set it down on that wood. I mean, that wood won't hold it uh, straight from, you know, falling over side to side. That's why I'm just leaving it hooked to the hoist for now. Of course, that hoist will bleed down eventually. I'll just, I'll brace it up before I am done for the day. And uh, get back to work on pulling this transmission out. <laughs> 